Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Minutes ago reporters asked Trump about Charlottesville, immediately all hell broke loose. This is was so dang epic. Trump just blasted the media over their terrible coverage of the Charlottesville, Virginia clash between violent extremists on both ends of the political spectrum. If the press were not fake and if it was honest the press would have said what I said was very nice. But unlike you and unlike the media before I make a statement I like to know the facts. Trump then went on to go after the alt-right and the alt-left thugs that attended the riot. The liberal media doesn't want this to get out. They were running the anti-fa losers as peaceful protesters. This is was frickin' amazing. Trump brought his A-game and the reporters brought nothing to the table but half-truths and less. Share this right now if you are proud of our president for the amazing job he did after the tragedy in Charlottesville. The media is going to try and bury this amazing speech. It's up to us patriots left in the country to help him by getting this amazing speech out. We cannot let the press tear this country apart. Thanks for standing with our president, patriots. Kill shot Trump just told everyone who was really behind the violence in Charlottesville. The media has been working overtime to spin their little web of lies and repaint the tragedy in Charlottesville to follow their own political narrative. Yes, there were horrible racists there, however, Trump just revealed the other half the story. His big manufacturing press conference today turned into a fiasco when ravaged reporters began pushing for more discussions on the dangers of white supremacy. They thought they had Trump cornered, then he dropped this bombshell on the whole lot of them. The alt-right, neo-Nazis, the Klan, the white supremacists and the alt-left were responsible for Charlottesville. The president left the room in silence when he asked reporters. What about the alt-left that came charging at the, as you say, the alt-right? Do they have any semblance of guilt? What about the fact they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? Do they have any problem? I think they do. As far as I am concerned, that was a horrible, horrible day. Yes, there was a murder. Yes, it was sick and horrible. However, that driver was only half the story of the day. The media totally glossed over the large groups of Antifa charging in with baseball bats and P-bombs attacking people who, frankly, didn't know they were at a white supremacist rally. What the media has not been talking about is that the white supremacy movement, which is evil and vile, has grown off the back of their support for things like the black supremacy and Antifa movements. And, let's talk about terror for a second. The media is acting like Trump's choice to not declare the murderer a terrorist makes him the devil. Uh, then riddle me this, why were they not as mad when Obama refused to declare Dylan Roof murdering an entire black church as terror? Is it because they were Christians? Trump's words are very clear. We have a very real problem in this country from a bunch of angry 20-year-olds with baseball bats, driven by hate, trying to start a new civil war. Oh, and they happen to be calling themselves conservatives and liberals. So share this out. Make the truth known. God bless each and every one of you and God bless President Trump for his beautiful words in the dark hour. Justice is served what the FBI just announced has Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch sweating bullets. Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch thought that they were off the hook for their tarmac meeting in the middle of Hillary Clinton's email trial. The meeting was obviously controversial especially since Loretta Lynch then the Attorney General and overseeing Hillary Clinton's trial, investigation was approached by Bill Clinton in the middle of the trial. Why else would Bill Clinton have a private closed-door meeting with the Attorney General? And it appears that the FBI believes that there is more to this meeting than originally was found. Sean Hannity shared the news that the ACLJ confirmed that the FBI was reopening a FOIA request into the meeting between Lynch and Bill Clinton. 
Finally our country could finally know what was so urgent that a former president thought he should meet with the person in charge of his wife's investigation for. ACLJ reports. We just delivered 413 pages of documents on the clandestine Clinton-Lynch meeting to the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee. This timeline and these documents include evidence of Obama Attorney General Loretta Lynch's alias email account. Numerous redactions, including main talking points, in circumvention of FOIA. Comey led FBI lies on the existence of requested documents. DOJ media collusion. A White House connection, and revelations that Obama loyalists are now investigating themselves. This could finally shed light into the shady dealings of the Clintons that they have been hiding for years. If Hillary Clinton is still able to evade justice for her crimes, at least Americans can see for certain just how crooked she is. These documents could shut down Hillary Clinton's political future after rumors have been rampant that she is planning on running again in 2020. The Clintons have been dealing in the dark for too long and getting away with it. It is high time that Americans should be able to see just how crooked they truly are. H.T. The Gateway Pundit Jim Mattis just issued a chilling command to everyone in the Navy. IT begins. Secretary of Defense James Mattis has a way with words. He's blunt with them. He recently told submarine crew last week that they would not regret their military experience under him because they would not be some pussy sitting on the sidelines. Mattis was addressing an all-male audience, according to him. Here is what Mattis said. Thanks for sticking with the Navy. He said at the naval base Kitsap in the state of Washington, adding that the experience would change them for the better for the rest of your life. So you'll never regret, but you will have some of the best days of your life and some of the worst days of your life in the U.S. Navy, you know what I mean? That says, that means you're living. That means you're living. That means you're not some PY sitting on the sidelines, you know what I mean, kind of sitting there saying, well, I should have done something with my life," he said. Because of what you're doing now, you're not going to be laying on a shrink's couch when you're 45 years old, say what the hell did I do with my life? Why? Because you served others, you served something bigger than you. This is the same guy that said the following about meeting anti-military activists on American soil. When you men get home and face an anti-war protester, look at him in the eyes and shake his hand. Mattis reportedly said. Then, wink at his girlfriend because she knows she's dating a PY. Share this everywhere and comment thank you Jim for standing up for America in tight spots. We at Liberty Writers love our troops and hope you do too. Thanks. God help US Iran just announced the worst thing imaginable with their nukes. If it wasn't bad enough to have crazy Kim in North Korea ready to fire off nukes at Guam, it looks like Iran is ready to jump back into the nuclear game too. The president of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, took center stage today when he called parliament and made an announcement that shook the entire world to its core. Iran announced that they will leave the nuclear deal and take their money with them. Iranian President Rouhani said that if the U.S. continued its threats and sanctions that he would pull out of the nuclear deal within hours. However, it's not only money that Iran acquired from the nuclear deal. They also immediately purchased a fleet of jets as well as ICBMs from Russia as soon as the embargo was lifted. So, thanks to Obama's crappy deal-making and his ignorance of major nuclear issues, we are now stuck with a well-equipped Iran about to pursue nukes again. This is a very real problem. Iran needs to see that we stand behind our leaders and our best friend Israel. Let's show them how united we can be by sharing that out everywhere and comment God bless Israel. Reporters asked Trump if he was keeping Benin, what he said next stunned everyone in the room. 
Just a day after the New York Times reported that Stephen Bannon's job may be in jeopardy, President Trump made it a point to set the record straight. Not only did Trump touch on his personal relationship with Bannon, but he also responded to rumors that some of his closest advisors and confidants are urging him to fire the chief strategist. I like Mr. Bannon, he's a friend of mine. But Mr. Bannon came on very late, you know that, Trump said in a news conference in New York City. I like him. He's a good man. He's not a racist, I can tell you that. He's a good person. He actually gets a very unfair press in that regard. But we'll see what happens with Mr. Bannon, Trump added. But he's a good person, and I think the press treats him frankly very unfairly. Bannon, the former executive chair of Breitbart News, has been under a fire recently from Democratic lawmakers and civil rights activists after violence broke out at a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, and others have called on Trump to fire Bannon. But the president has been very consistent with how he handles internal issues. If something is not working in his administration, President Trump will do his best to fix it, regardless of past or current friendships. America will always come first and President Trump has accepted the scrutiny that comes with that position. Whatever decision our commander-in-chief chooses to make, it's safe to assume it's for the good of the nation. Let's share our support for President Trump and show that we have faith in his administration. Sources, TheHill.com Moments after vicious attack from CNN, Trump let loose and said the one thing that will shut them up for good. When it comes to the media, President Trump may never get a fair shake. If rigging elections with foreign countries or wrongfully terminating employees or sexually assaulting women wasn't enough, now apparently our commander-in-chief is a low-down dirty racist. It's legitimately ridiculous at this point, especially when these news outlets should be covering the real issues facing our nation. Thank God we have a leader who's never afraid to expose the truth, and President Trump did exactly that on Twitter this morning made additional remarks on Charlottesville and realize once again that the fake news media will never be satisfied. Truly bad people, Trump tweeted. The media has continued to lob accusations and criticize President Trump for his response to violence during a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Regardless of his denouncement of both white supremacists and the KKK by name, Trump has been unjustly raked over the coals for simply stating there is bigotry and hatred on many sides. But President Trump has stayed true to his beliefs in the face of the senseless scrutiny. Racism is evil and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans, Trump said during his remarks at the White House. We are equal in the eyes of our Creator. We are equal under the law and under our Constitution. Maybe it's time the press started treating our president like an equal instead of a criminal. He has proven his love for this country and all of its citizens. He wants to create jobs for all Americans and put an end to terrorism against all innocent people. President Trump is a God-fearing family man who wants to build a unified nation, and I say we help him. If you stand with Trump against the crooked media, share the truth and show how much you support your president. Sources, DailyCaller.com